Hello there, Addictive Keys fans. Today I'll give you a quick overview of the Addictive Keys interface and show you how to find your way around. When you first open Addictive Keys, you're looking at the gallery view. You're able to look at all of your installed instruments as well as those available in the online shop. By clicking on these large triangles, you can see each of the instruments. Right now, I've purchased the Studio Grand and Mark I, but I don't yet own the Modern Upright. So if I click on that, it'll just take me to a page with more details about it. Let's take a closer look at the Studio Grand. Below its picture, you'll notice these three Explore Maps. Each Explore Map contains a number of presets in a certain style. Producer focuses on sounds ready to fit in your track. As recorded, showcases the natural sound of the instrument, and selections show you how far you can take this using the processing power of Addictive Keys. Try clicking on Studio Grand Producer, and you'll be taken to the Explore page, which has an additional set of presets you can explore. Just click the play button next to a few of the presets to get an idea of the wide range of tones you can get from a single piano. At the bottom of the interface, those three buttons there cycle through the three different Explore views, and on each page, you'll find even more presets to play with. Some of the included presets are pretty heavily tweaked out and processed. Listen to Death Row, which is a heavily distorted version of the same piano. The first page also includes some basic adjustment knobs. You can actually do a lot more once we get into the edit page in the next video. If you just want to view absolutely everything available, click up here in the upper left corner, and that'll bring up a browser with each of the presets listed. Preview them by hitting their play button, and click OK to confirm your choice and go back to the Explore page. Now that I've shown you how the Studio Grand works, the same applies to the other instruments. I'll go back to the gallery page and now hit the triangle button to show the Mark I, a meticulously sampled vintage Rhodes Mark I. It works exactly the same. I'll click the Selections Explore Map to see some of the presets, preview one or two, and I'm ready to get to work. So that's a look at the basics of finding your way around Addictive Keys. In the next video, I'll show you the edit page and really get into some amazing tweaks you can make to the pianos.